Alrighty, happy Wednesday. So there's a few things that I want to actually kind of bring in to things. Um, so it's going to be kind of weird, but one of my favorite commercials that kind of comes to mind is um, from Geico. And it's the one where they're in the office full of cubicles and then there's a camel going through asking everyone what day it is and it's a Wednesday and so he's like it's hump it's hump day and so it's kind of appropriate that I bring this in um today since today is that last little bit of the hump of the week and it's just going to go downhill and it's often the day that we sometimes look forward to the most in the middle of the week because we have the weekend to look forward to and it just sometimes brings things to become a little easier the last few days of the work week and for some people who might have to work weekends their little hump day their wednesday of their work week can sometimes be maybe a Saturday or a Friday, just depending on what their schedules are. Um, but it just kind of brings into light what's going to be kind of the main thing in this little thought for names of Christ. Um, because we sometimes go through difficult trials in our lives to where we sometimes don't know when we've reached our little um, crest, if you will, our little top of the hill of the week or top of the hill of the challenge to where things are just going to be smooth sailing from then on out. And I've started to notice in my own life, it's sometimes because it's sometimes difficult to know when those things come or to know if they even will come. It sometimes feels like it's better just to quit. It's better to let go and not keep going forward, not to keep climbing that little mountain of ours. And it's brought me to realize like there's always something that we can look forward to. I mean, sometimes that on a Monday we can look forward to the weekend right then and there, but it still sometimes feels like those weeks can be a drag with that perspective of the future. And kind of with that in mind, kind of comes a thought from Hebrews 9, verse 11. Um, Paul, he is talking a lot about um, some of the covenants and the ordinances of that has been occurring in their lives and in their religion as Jews. And he talks about how there's going to be a little bit more of change and some of the ordinances aren't going to be occurring as much because Christ fulfilled some of the ordinances in the law of Moses when he when he finished his sacrifice and in verse 11 of Hebrews 9 he says but Christ being come and high and high priest of good things to come and that's going to be kind of the name for today and high priest of good things to come because in those challenges we need to remember that there's always good that is going to be in our lives after we pursue persevere through these challenges i think about many of the times that my brothers have kind of helped me with working out they will spot me with bench press squat and many other different exercises to make sure I'm being safe. I'm If I'm getting too tired, they can help make sure that the weight comes off and I'm not going to injure myself. And so when they're spotting, there are times where I'm like, okay, I want to do two or four rep, two to four reps with this weight. And they're like, okay, that's cool. And sometimes I can get to two and then I'm about to rack it or even if I get to the four that I would love to get to once I hit it there they're like okay do one more <laughs> and it's not always the funnest thing because I'm already tired I probably barely got that fourth one up and so I'm like okay you're there I'll do another one the best I can and if I struggle barely getting it up they're like cool do another one <laughs> 
and it sometimes feels difficult to keep trusting them but I know that they're there to watch out to make sure I'm going to be safe and I know that they'll catch the weight if I cannot push it all the way forward and push it all the way up and I start thinking about this especially with this name in mind of Christ being the high priest of good things to come is that oftentimes through the struggles we go through that refiner's fire if you will the good thing to come from it is greater strength. It can be greater patience. It can be greater humility, greater faith, but it can also be greater love for others. It can be a greater amount of sympathy, understanding, patience, and it's a myriad of other things that the Lord is wanting to bless us with so that we can become more like him. And in those things it can be very very difficult to have that perspective of who we are becoming in the process of our challenges and it kind of also makes me remember a verse in matthew 7 where christ is talking to a lot of the jews and he and some of the pharisees after the sermon on the mount and or on the sermon on the mount he asks um which of you will who having a son asking for bread would give him a stone or asking for a fish would give him a serpent. And he then asks, if ye then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your father, which is in heaven, give the good things to them that ask him? And starting to think on that we sometimes do ask for that humility we ask for the patience at least that i have in my life and i start to regret making those prayers because that's when the challenges come he gives me trials he gives me things that are going to test my humility test my faith and patience and those are good gifts challenges are good things in our lives and we only become better through them. If we quit, we do not build the strength that he is wanting us to receive. He sees what we are capable of overcoming, and that is why he allows challenges into our lives. And so if you're going through difficulty, know that there will be an end to a challenge, but it's oftentimes a little bit of a plateau until we reach the next uphill climb and it's a good thing because he's always there and he's always going to help us through it he's always going to carry us when we need to be carried but he wants us to know that there are always going to be blessings that come from our challenges so if you're having a difficult time right now um, President Russell M. Nelson, the prophet, has told us to think celestially, to have an eternal perspective. And I want to encourage you to have that perspective as he has encouraged us, our prophet has encouraged, because I know that there, it will help you get through temptations, it will help you to persevere and to continue on, no matter the hardship. Jesus Christ has felt your pain and he is able to sucker you or to give aid to you as you are needing it. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.